Hey guys, Bird Easy Studios here, and I will be doing a review on set 8039 Venator Class Republic Attack Cruiser. Age is 9 to 14, and it has 1,170 pieces. Now, this is my first review on a big Lego set. No, like really, really big kind of Lego set. So, we'll see how that goes. Bad. Eh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. Max. Minifigures, clones, Star Wars, junk. Yeah. That, I believe that is, um, uh, I don't know. Some planet. I think I know what it is. I have a name. I think it's, uh, Rodia or something. Uh, no. No, it's not Rodia. Lego Star Wars and play features. Various other items of semi-value Lego sets. I do not have that one. I have that one, and I have that one. Yeah. So, on to the minifigures. Okay, we got Chancellor Palpatine. He's got this kind of weird Count Dooku hair. You know, from the Solar Sailor. Only his is blonde. And... He's got a rugged old guy kind of face. And uh, pauldrons. Fabric pauldrons. Uh, no detailing on the back. On the legs. Just on the shirt. And makes him look kind of, I don't know, cheap. You'd think Chancellor Palpatine would be a nicer minifig. But, oh well. Okay, we got brand new Senate Commandos. They got the same old blue clone, well they got the same old clone armor only it's painted blue. And new helmets, different front design, a uh, fin, shorter fin, uh, printing on the back, rifle, and the helmet. He's got the regular old clone trooper face. That's kind of weird. He's not a clone trooper. And you get another one. And they're removing their helmets for a reason. Here we got a clone pilot. You don't see these very often. I like these guys. They got the red Republic symbols and the yellow on their helmets and the little life support package. Double printing. Here we got Clone Gunner. These aren't very, well, I guess you could say these are common. You'll, you can only get them in the Clone Walker Battle Pack, and that's pretty cheap, so. He's got gray arms, uh, Republic symbols right there with some kind of copper color, and a little chest plate right there. So now, I got them kind of lined up funky, but oh well. So, this guy, his eyes are in the middle. You can't really tell the quality of my camera kind of sucks. Okay. This guy has his eyes off to the left. This guy has his eyes off to the left. And this guy has his eyes off pointing towards the right. So, the clone heads are all different, except for two of them. That's a little creepy. But, hey, oh well. Who's complaining? I'm just pointing it out. Oh, I'm kind of complaining, but. Yeah, so. Now, on to the Venator itself. Okay, so. Start with the outside. Got this little thing right here. I don't know what you call that. I, I think it's a tractor beam projector or something. On the sides here we got these uh, maybe 45 degree angle turrets. I don't know. 45, 50, I don't know. And that's on either side. And it's got these little hinges here to hold on the plates and stuff. Back here, it's on either side. We got these little 
360 degree rotating turrets. They're pretty cool looking. Just like the ones in the television series. Yeah, they all rotate stuff. Mm, move them up and down. Yeah, those are just regular old like Lego City or Lego Agents pistol pieces. So, yeah. Yeah. Got a lot of Republic Red in this set. But, you know, no doubt, it's their flagship. The open circle fleet symbol right there with some detail and sticker. And up here we have the command bridge, which is where they are in the Clone Wars series, but the bridge in this set is actually back in there, which I'll show you. And some little sensors up there. And, yeah. So, right here, as I showed you earlier when I was showing you the bridge, this lifts up like this and it's a handle so it's very fun to play with now with the handle because the old Star Destroyer it didn't have a handle so it was hard to carry around it mine broke a lot yeah that it wasn't that fun to play with but it was still a great set so on the back here got these awesome awesome looking engines the blue tiny one right there medium and two big ones on either side yeah those engines are awesome highly detailed so in here we got the little escape pod oh and this set is not built to scale obviously otherwise the escape pod would be really really tiny compared to this set. Yeah, so...